Time to do a wheel bearing on a front of a 2008 Ford Focus. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, FVP. Not a sponsor. I've been using a lot, a lot, a lot of their products. Good prices, lifetime warranty, and you know, so far, so great. Um, so it comes with this whole kit. Comes with the hub, axle nut, snap ring, and the bearing itself. Now. <laughs> depends on who you are if you're watching my video then more than likely you're just an average guy like me we don't have you know press I do got some specialty tools but you probably don't so don't need a you'll need a press or some kind of uh, hub tamer or whatnot a slide hammer will help um, that you can rent at an auto parts store I'm not sure about the rest but you know you got you do get the bearing but just save yourself some time and just get the hub also because a lot of times when you when you Use a spite hammer, rip this out. The bearing race gets caught right here, and you'll need to cut it or get it super hot and see if it'll expand enough to get off. It's just why these are very cheap, a couple extra dollars. You can get the hub and all, so that way you just replace everything brand new. Yeah, you're saving a couple dollars by just replacing the bearing, but awesome kit. Let's get started. 19 millimeter lug nuts, take those off. Uh, it's a 32 millimeter axle nut. Very rusty and crusty. Uh, now if you're using a breaker bar, make sure you keep the tire on the ground and you can spin that mostly all the way off till you get to the end. And next we're gonna move on to the tight rod end. It's a 17 millimeter. We'll see if we can just buzz it off. Ah, works. But if not, there's a hex bit at the center that you can uh, put it in and use like a ratchet wrench or whatnot if you don't have power tools. Just keep that on just uh, uh, one last thing to worry about later. Now let's get the caliper off. Now I'm just going to be removing this whole assembly. It's a 215 millimeter. I use my hook just to lock it in some place and get it up and out of the way. There you go, the rotor is off. Oh, nice. That never happens where the axle pushes right in. So, now we get that slide hammer. Yeah, figure out which adapter fits. Which that one? That one's fine. Perfect. All right. Okay, so that fits in there. Perfect. Get some lug nuts started.
This one is brand new, never used, so. I didn't rent this one, I bought it. You can, I mean, they're not exactly cheap, but like I said, you could rent these at an auto parts store, no problem. There goes nothing. A slide hammer is literally what it sounds like. It's a hammer that when you jerk back, it's supposed to pull it off. That's it. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, there you are. <laughs> this is the bearing race. Now, if, if I did not have an extra uh, hub, then yeah, that you'd be in there beating this off with a hammer, pry tools. Um, this tool actually comes with a puller. Once you get it far enough away, this will lock on to pull it off. Like I said, it's unnecessary. Just a total waste of time. Again, they're just a couple extra dollars to save you a bunch of time. This way you just take it, throw it in the scrap pile of the trash, and you move on. Uh, that's an 18 millimeter. Now we're going to move this bolt right here. Lots of loud noises. Lots of loud noises. Here we go. There. Now we get the axle up and out of the way. Like so. And now we have a clear access to that snap ring right there. Here's, your, here's where you're going to want a good set of snap ring pliers.
That's impossible. <clears throat> So that was a snap ring from hell. That was, oh, it took me uh, well over half an hour to get this thing out. Just heat, very thick screwdriver, air handle with the chisel. That was a pain. All right, so. Oh, that sucked. All right, so we're gonna push this bearing out. So if you're using the hub tamer, it's tool P and whatever cup you are, whatever you want to put in it, the back end. So you just want to get that centered like that. We'll tighten that up. Should be good. Let's do it. see okay just... okay we're doing the right thing just uh it's just really crusty so slightly. Got he let my air compressor catch up. <laughs> Maybe it's time to upgrade to that 80 gallon. But uh, it is working. It's just taking an extremely long time. Heat, a lot of heat. that gets stuck in there all the time. <clears throat> so, time to get this cleaned up. We'll get the new one pressed in. Uh, this, now's a good time to uh, go around where that snap ring is and uh, start to really get it cleaned out, but you're not gonna get the new snap.
All right, so uh, came out through the back, so we're gonna put it in, leave this out facing back. Not that this matters on this one because it does not have the uh, uh, ABS, but still gonna do it that way. There you go, line it in there, get it nice and flush, as flush as you can. And essentially you're gonna just do the exact opposite of what we did before. So uh, we'll have some kind of backing plate for the front. It doesn't have to be a cone because it's not going to catch it. It's just something to press up against the front like this. So yeah, just put something right there. And then uh, we could use the same back back plate, which is the P. This is what it is. So I'm going to use the M and we'll get this bearing pressed in. Try to give it a once over and make sure it's still in, going in evenly, which I'm pretty sure it is. Get you in there for that close up. Now let's, uh, here goes nothing. Give it a little more power. there we go there's the other piece right. want to make sure we look at the front make sure it's secure in there which it is it's completely flush against the front and now let's get a new snap ring in there what's left of these we'll pinch them angle them down in there kind of hold it so it doesn't snap back and hit you in the face that would severely suck. Um, give it a couple taps, make sure it's down in there. Which looks good. Alright, looks great so far. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a backing plate that's gonna that's gonna really support the center center, and then uh, just something looks like this. And we'll go ahead and get it pressed in.
can put it flush in there. Spins nice and smooth. Put it back together. Usually I like to grease that, but really not necessary with this one, thankfully. It's in there. Add your 18 millimeter bolt back. Thirty-two millimeter axle nut. Seventeen millimeter tie rod end piece. Put your two caliper bracket bolts back on and you are good to go. And that is pressing in a wheel bearing on a 2008 Ford Focus at home without a press.